Microsoft Copilot is the first highlighted feature. Down here, you can see Copilot Preview. Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking about the latest Windows update. Today is 29th of September. So Microsoft Copilot is the first highlighted feature. Down here, you can see Copilot Preview. You can access Copilot by pressing the Windows button and C button. So it will open the Copilot here uh, on the right side. I'll give you a few examples here, few quick examples. Turn on light mode. So I'm on dark mode right now. So it will turn on light mode. I can change it to change to dark mode. All right, it is asking for the confirmation and here you can see it has changed to. Now, if I want to use the AI capabilities of this, for example, if I'm asking write a story about a dog who lives on the moon. For example, I can ask take a screenshot and it will just open the snipping tool. You can see here I opened the snipping tool for you. So I will take a specific area, for example. And for example, if you want to summarize the website that is opened here, and instead of reading a complete article, you want to just summarize it. So you will just open the copilot here, and then you can ask summarize the website or summarize this website. The document provides some useful ways to harness technology for online business success. And here you can see here, harnessing technology for online business success. Instead of reading a complete article, get it summarized using the copilot. So this was one of the features which is available on Windows update on 26th of September 2023. So I can simply close the copilot by pressing the Windows button and C button. So it will close the copilot. There are some features which are added to the system tray, taskbar, and in the notification. So in case you want to quickly access the volume mixer, press Control, Windows, and V, which is for volume. So quickly you can adjust the volume and change all the sound related settings here. Another update which is available in the taskbar is never combined mode. So in settings, we'll go here to personalization, taskbar. You can see here taskbar behaviors. And in taskbar behaviors, so here you can see combine taskbar button and hide labels. So you can do it from always to never. In the old Windows versions, so all the taskbars were open here. So I'll be combining it. I feel comfortable with the taskbar combined. Another important feature that has been added earlier, I was uh, willing to change the date and time. It was not possible to do it from here. We had to go to the settings and do it. You can right click here and you will see here adjust date and time earlier. It was not there now this feature has been added you can see here that notification icon is already added here now so you can quickly view the notification bell icon and you can in case you want to clear this all or you can snooze it or whatever you want to do it so you can do that and clear all the notifications so directly you can go here and turn on the do not disturb mode so it will stop giving any notifications here so this can help you to stay focused avoid any distraction while you're working if i right click here on the network so you can see here network and internet settings are already available here diagnose network problem is also here so you can quickly diagnose the network problem in case you have any network issue and in windows explorer there is another cool feature which is available is the carousel in carousel mode you can see here the file preview is also available here so in case i click on any of the files so I can see the location of the file and all the content type and detail and when it was last time accessed, when it was created and quickly you can access the properties from here. The native support for reading the archive files, uh, you can access the tar file. So you don't need to install WinRAR or any other tools to unzip these files. And one cool feature which is added is uh, sharing the file directly from the file explorer. So in case you want to share this file with someone, so you can just right click here and share the file and you can see here that it has chosen the outlook so you can also do the nearby share in case you want to share it with any other computer which is discovered on the network whether through the bluetooth or through the network or through the wi-fi and one of the cool features that i want to talk about is the windows backup app which is very useful you want to have the backup of complete settings and complete credential all the apps in case there is any folder so you can have a complete backup of that and once it is backed up, you can restore it into any other computer. So if you are using Microsoft OneDrive, it will back up and then you can restore it to any of new computer. So with the new features of emojis, you can have the support for Unicode Emoji 15. 3D-like appearance emojis are now 
available so you can quickly access them so now the narrator is in fact providing the natural voice so you can add the natural voices so you can click on add and for example this is natural you can see here that the, the natural language is added here all the languages which are in natural mode they will be available here in natural other will be uh, standard modes so even for uh, windows documents like word excel outlook and all of these uh, support is also available using the narrator in security you are definitely using user id password even the fingerprint face recognition and all of that new pass keys are a simple replacement for the passwords when you sign in to your website or application pass key is already available here now so another cool feature which is added to windows is in the security and here you can turn on the protection against the phishing so i'll just turn this on and here yes and warn me about the password reuse and warn me about the unsafe password storage you can have unwanted app blocking also so i have turned it on so smart screen for microsoft store app must be enabled in order to make sure that you are protected so this was all about the security so there are some account related settings also which are available right now if i go to my account related settings quickly i can now access the storage uh, settings of my onedrive and then there are some account related settings so you can use the multi-factor authentication account recovery option is also available here account privacy option is available here in case you have the microsoft office 365 subscription so you can see all the details here privacy settings track your device if you think you have lost it so i have turned it on so you can see all your devices in or linked devices from here wherever the device is located right now you can see all my devices on which location these devices are so i can find the device locations here and even the battery percentage battery status and all of that can be seen here as well this app is available in windows to make sure that you are able to connect to the android or iphone now the feature is also available for iphone so you can connect to your device so it will help you to make the calls receive the calls send the messages receive the messages good thing is that you can now turn off the phone link to save your battery these are all the apps which are available in case you want to quickly uninstall any app so you can simply right click here and uninstall app it will uninstall the app for you so windows 365 switch will help you to connect to your cloud pc so which will help you to have the multitasking possible so you can have one pc available here and another pc can be available here as your cloud pc so just like switching between your local desktop you can now switch between your cloud pc and your physical device so i'll show you that in the windows 11 pro version i have tried to cover each and every aspect but of course there is a lot to cover so you can explore by yourself and if this video has helped you don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in next video take care and goodbye